Subscribe to the YouTube channel for the latest updates. Currently, Cyclone Charlotte has rapidly intensified to a Category 3 major hurricane equivalent cyclone off the coast of Western Australia, currently at 17.5 degrees south and 108.7 degrees east. It is expected to uh, remain out to sea within the next three to four days now with winds of 115 miles per hour or 165 kilometers per hour in 10 sustained winds as per the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, this system still has no CDPS rating due to it not having a landfall location within the next three to four days. The cyclone's position again 17.5 degrees south and 108.7 degrees east now relative to the uh, Australian coastline. Still a very large distance to the Western Australia uh, locations, now uh, 764 kilometers away from Barrow Island, 786 from Coral Bay, 936 from Carnarvon, 1168 from Meadow, and 1729 kilometers away from Perth, Australia. Those are all the locations situated on the western coastline of the Australian continent. Now the 115 mile per hour winds by the Bureau of Energy and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center going lower around 100 miles per hour. The ADTs are not working so we don't have uh, intensity estimates from them. Here is the forecast track from the Bureau of Meteorology uh, showing uh, it may maintain its intensity or rather it has reached its peak of around 150 miles per hour and then will weaken substantially uh, within the next uh, one to two days and then may uh, turn post-tropical around day three or four but it but it is uh, forecast to turn east so maybe the uh, western Australian coastline may be impacted by the remnants of this system. Sea surface temperatures uh, you can see uh, this storm is currently situated around 28 degree uh, waters but then the temperatures will drop drastically so that uh, it is expected that a deceleration of this system is expected. Now from the GFS model you can see the uh, rapid weakening of this system and then a little uh, venture towards the east but then in, in the latest, uh, uh, latest run uh, the model runs. They have uh, decided that they will store over the uh, uh, besides the Western Australian coastline, and then maybe venture north a little bit. I don't know what they're thinking, but that's it. So the models are thinking that uh, this storm has reached its peak and may start to uh, weaken within the next 12 to 24 or to around 36 hours. But the G-ship model is still going on to may have a, a higher peak. The glacier is still maintaining a 10 to 20 knots, but it will increase uh, drastically uh, within the next two to three days. Sea surface temperatures maintaining, but it will drop uh, as this storm ventures south. Taking a look back to the satellite imagery, so you can see that this is now Cyclone Charlotte. The 24 hours ago, it is still a very weak. Uh, high-end tropical storm, low-end cyclone, but now uh, it has intensified to a, a low-end category 3 cyclone with winds of 150 miles per hour. You can see its uh, core structure looking rather healthy and some uh, the CDO wrapping up, but uh, on the last few frames it's a little bit degrading. Here is the, uh, here is the Himawari 8 uh, floater. You can see the progression of the system venturing a little bit south this system is expected to weaken uh, within the next two to three days because of its venturing and the uh, temperature, the sea surface temperature is dropping. But it may still pose a, a threat towards the Western Australian coastline as a uh, extratropical or a remnant low.